Welcome back, everybody. I'm 20-something manchild Dave Herndon. And I'm honorary manchild David Comer. And today we're still talking before Watchmen. We're going to be on this topic for quite a while. We're only about halfway through, maybe a little less. Today we're bringing you Minutemen number three, which... Pers- three of six. Personally, we're halfway home after this one. Uh, personally, this is my favorite of the series so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we really get to dive into the Night Owl a little bit more, which is one of my favorite characters on the team. But it's not a, it's not his solo story, so we get to see how he's interacting with the Minutemen. Um, again, he's working with the Spectre. Stylish, the sexy, the silhouette. Silhouette. Silhouette is awesome, and she's very cool. She um, also happens to be a lesbian, and that kind of like adds a little bit of unrequited love on the part of Night Owl. You can tell there's something more there, but they they do form a deep bond. Plus, Night Owl actually is one of the few heroes who are actually aspire to do something more than the rest of the team's kind of staged PR well, slash and, taking and, down of stick-up men. And he's kind of on the fence both ways. We see early on in the issue he's going to like a children's birthday party and hanging out and having fun with the kids just using his fame. But then later on he's trying to bust a child abduction ring. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he, he wants to be better better than himself. And he's a cop in his uh, secret identity, so... And that in itself is causing issues with him, because when he runs off to save his partner, if you will, mm-hmm. he's wondering if he should be doing it as Night Owl or as, you know, Officer Dan. Right. Excuse right. me, not Dan. Hollis Mason. Hollis Mason. Dan Driver of Night Owl 2. Getting confused here a little bit. So, um... And we get to see Silhouette do some detective work, and we get to see some grisly results. She's basically the Batman of the Minutemen universe. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people want to uh, throw that title to Rorschach, but I think she would have been it had she not been. We see the Watchmen. They're a little more of the traditional superhero group. Uh, we hit them towards the, what, probably we get to the 70s, uh, late 70s. Um, so, uh, but but right now, the Minutemen, a little, yeah, more old school, more... Uh, this is the Justice Society, if you will, minus superpowers. Right. So, um, and, uh, you know, uh, you get to see a Silhouette kind of uh, cling to life. And at the same time, uh, there's a side story of where you get to look at comedi- the comedian. And uh, he's been, I think it begins right around the time he attacked uh, the, uh, the Silk Spectre. And, um, As he gets voted out of the group. After uh, Hooded Justice lays a beat down on him. And um, so uh, the comedian kind of goes on his own path, and you start seeing him kind of freelancing, doing some of the kind of the superhero business with his own brand of, um, of gaudy violence. So, um, and because he's a badass. So, um, Dave, what would you think of this one? Uh, like, like I mentioned earlier, it's one of my... My favorite book so far in the entire Before Watchmen series. It's my favorite of the Minutemen. I'm giving this one a solid A. Uh, it, it had everything you wanted out of a comic story, and yet it, it's a continuation of a previous story. It's We're continuing on into issue four, but yet you could pick this up and read it as a one-shot if you wanted to and get everything you needed out of it. I'm giving it a B plus. I, I really liked it, too. Uh, I had a really good cover. And unlike the previous uh, Minutemen, uh, which featured a frame that was not actually in the comic book. Uh, maybe I'm just old school, but I, I, I appreciated having an image that was directly related to inside the story on the cover. Well, you know, the cover so. doesn't always have to be in the story. It can be alluding to the story. Well, obviously, but just a personal reference. So if you get a chance, pick up the Minutemen series. Um, you won't regret it. If, if there's only one Watchmen series you're... You know, you're looking to get into, or you can't buy them all, or at the very least, you're an acolyte of um, everyone's favorite Alan Moore from the original, who um, I believe smites this attempt at um, at petty. Um, you know, to be um, perfectly honest, I think Alan Moore smites reasons. just about everything. <laughs> well, he's not being a serpent wizard. God bless, though. Nothing or, against whatever. Alan Moore, mind you. I love the man's work. He's a he's a genius. But um, you know, Minutemen. You could do a lot worse, uh, and again, great art, pretty good story. And I believe issue four is out sometime in the next two weeks, if and I'm not mistaken. Really interested in seeing where it goes from here. 